Greetings YouTube! Today is going to be a new bargain video and these are things I've collected over probably the last month. I haven't had a lot of stuff all at once so I thought I would uh, take my time until I had uh, enough things to show off. Sorry, I'm just neating something up. One of the first things I found here, I'm going to show off. This is a manual weed whacking device. Now I have a heavier version of this already in my garage, but I only purchased it because I couldn't find this model, which is kind of a putter design. So I'm gonna be put a, keeping this one and getting rid of the other one. So I've got no net tools and the exact same tool quantity I had um, when I started the day. Um, we have a book called Amazing Grace, A Dog's Tale, which my wife picked up for an acquaintance. Um, it was a book. Um, Gothic Ghosts, which I picked up for a friend, 50 cents. Uh, the uh, the Complete Tutankhamun, which was going to go in nicely with the Complete Pyramid book I got up recently. Um, so I have, I think they must come from the same collection. I put them at the same thrift store. So I guess I figure somebody get rid of their stuff. Um, we have uh, the Smithsonian Book of Com Comic Book Comics, which I thought was kind of cool. Manner has decided to join us. Um, we have Tim Noah's uh, Noakes, MD, Lore of Running, which is a monstrous book. This thing is huge. Um, some note cards that have a cute cat on them. We paid like a quarter or 50 cents for those. Um, my wife has a new set of slippers. They're made made in USA. They're Maine style slippers. I paid next to nothing for those. Got some tools today. These two wrenches I got specifically because they had a really nice patina and I don't own either of them. I think this might have been a a shut off of some variety at one time because it's a very specific shape. This is just an, an S curve, which I've always kind of liked. I've never had one. Um, this is the smallest adjustable wrench I have ever seen anyway, and I played like 50 cents for it. So that was kind of cool. Um, a compass style, which is cool because you can just hook that onto a jacket or something. You've got a compass always with you. Um, this is a church key, and it's called the Nift key. My wife thought that was cute. I mean, it's a bottle opener and a. Yeah corkscrew combined. She thought that was cute. And again, I spent about a quarter on it. Um, this is a Craftsman adjustable wrench. So when you grab it, it adjusts to the size of the object you're, you're grabbing. And I'd always wanted to try it out, but I never wanted to invest. It's like 20 bucks, 25 bucks for one of these. And I found it at a yard sale for a dollar. So I'm like, okay, I'll try it out. If I don't like it, I've lost a buck. This is a pry bar, which is very long and thin, but it's it only has a very shallow angle, and it's got. It's designed to be hammered here. It's got. It's got some you know, decent wear on it. And I think this was originally a mason's tool, but I thought having a pry bar like this may come in handy at some point in the future. And it was a dollar. Um, we have a. We have a horn. I found a really cool looking horn, which is um, art. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I may use it for a cosplay or just a wall art or make a coat hook out of it. I don't know, but it's kind of cool and it didn't cost me much. Um, I have a real life street hockey mask, which I thought would make an awesome costume element. You know, what serial killer uh, wouldn't love to wear, th wear this? And I've, you know, I've got more than one machete, so I'm all set in that regard. Um, we have um, a, the Weathering the Wilderness, sorry, the Sierra, Sierra Club Guide to Practical Meteorology, which is a book my wife wanted. Um, radical Equations, uh, Civil Rights from Mississippi to the uh, Algebra Project, all about Robert P. Moses. Um, today's Isms, um, Communism, Fascism, and Socialism. And lastly, we have A Bad Day at River Bend. And what drew me this to this book is that this is a kid's book where the characters in the book are reacting to the art that the kid is putting in the book. So all those scribbles you see on the page, he looks distraught because he's reacting to the scribbles on the page. So that was kind of a meta comment, which I really thought was kind of cool. Um, I picked that up for a dollar. Um, and then we have a huge collection of some DVDs here. We have Starman with Jeff Bridges, a film I haven't seen in years, but I had fond memories of. Airplane, which I amazingly enough didn't own. Uh, Kevin Costner's Robin Hood. A book on stand-up paddle boarding. Uh, Titan A.E. in the animated film. Christmas Carol with Patrick Stewart. Uh, sorry, Patrick Stewart. There we go, Patrick Stewart. Um, Easy Rider, Crocodile Dundee, the original, which I happen to quite like. The second one was all right. Uh, the Polar Express, which is a film my wife enjoys. Simpsons the Movie, which I don't know if I've ever actually seen it. Um, 
Mystery Men, which we watched recently, and I said it, it aged really well, and I had a great time watching it. I, I really enjoyed that film. I should do a full review on that. Adventureland, um, Starship Troopers 2, which should be horribly bad, uh, The Emperor's New Groove, uh, which is, you know, smile-inducing, and it's got, you know, got llamas. You go bad with llamas. Um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, that's the new version, that's, and it's the widescreen, which is nice. Uh, did I mention I had Dogma here? Oh, I'm sorry, I'll have to get back to that in a second. I apologize. Uh, Muppet Show, The Muppet, Treasure Island, Mars Attack, Ack, Ack, which my wife happens to have a real fondness for that. Ack. Ack. Um, this is Wizards, the Ralph Bakshi Wizards, and I've been wanting to get a copy of this for years, and I found it at a thrift store for $3, and that is absolutely awesome. I forgot some over here, I apologize. Uh, we have The Book of Eli, a film so preposterous I have to own it. Um... That's because it's the idea is crazy. The collector's edition of Jaws, which is great because I don't have Jaws. Uh, Dogma, it's a special edition Dogma. And Jack Reacher, and this is obviously a bootleg, but I paid a dollar for this. So I want to see if the movie's any good. And if it is, maybe I'll somebody get a version that has commentary on it. Um, I have a Hawaiian style shirt with really cool dragons on it. And you're wondering, why is the Hawaiian style shirt lumpy? Well, I want to. I was going to save the best thing for last, and the best thing for last is the Hand of Destiny. Yes, folks, I own Hellboy's Hand of Destiny, and that is just too darn cool. Picked it up at thrift store for ninety-nine cents. Um, so those are the finds we have this week. Um, some cool stuff, some cool DVDs, some nice books, um, some for other people, and some for us. And I hope that you folks have all enjoyed it.